let's talk about sleep. Glorious, precious, cannot function without its sleep. For most animals, sleep is a must. It restores the brain, consolidates memory, and, let's be honest, gives everyone a break from existing. But as with everything in nature, there are exceptions. And those exceptions? Well, they're weird. So why do some animals seem to never sleep, or at least not in the way we'd recognize? And how do they survive without curling up for a cozy REM cycle like huh? the rest of us? Let's dig into the strange, sleep-deprived world of these evolutionary insomniacs. Before we accuse anyone of being sleepless, we need to define sleep. Biologists consider it a state of reduced activity and responsiveness, often accompanied by distinct brainwave patterns. For humans and other mammals, this includes cycles of REM rapid eye movement and non-REM sleep. But here's the twist. Not all animals even have a brain complex enough to produce these cycles. So how do we know if a jellyfish is taking a nap or just vibing? Turns out, scientists define sleep behaviorally in many animals. If the creature becomes less responsive, slows down, and shows signs of needing rebound rest after being disturbed, ah. it likely counts as sleep. Ah. That said, some animals bend this definition to the point of absurdity. Some barely sleep. Some split their sleep. Some shut down only half their brain, and some, we're not even sure they sleep at all. Let's start with the overachievers, bullfrogs. For decades, textbooks claimed bullfrogs don't sleep. A 1967 study found that they never stopped responding to stimuli, even during rest periods. However, modern researchers question the study's methods. Still, bullfrogs exhibit such minimal sleep behavior that they're often used as a go-to, maybe insomniac animal. Certain fish. Many fish species don't have eyelids. Combine that with slow, continuous movement, and it's hard to tell when they're actually asleep. Some sharks need to keep swimming to force water over their gills, so they rest one hemisphere of the brain at a time, a process known as unihemispheric slow-wave sleep. Think of it like your brain going on airplane mode in shifts. One hemisphere dozes, the other keeps swimming. Dolphins and whales. Cetaceans take the half-brain sleep strategy to the next level. Dolphins literally sleep with one eye open. They can rest while swimming, surfacing for air, and avoiding predators. No REM sleep as we know it. No laying down, just constant partial vigilance. This is like falling asleep during a boring Zoom meeting, but still clicking present at the right moments. Now, let's get tiny. Insects don't have a cerebral cortex or REM cycles, but many still show sleep-like behavior. Bees, for instance, stop moving at night, lower their body temperature, and even collapse into cute little piles of nap. Fruit flies, those annoying guests in your kitchen, are model organisms for sleep studies. They exhibit cycles of inactivity and suffer performance drops without rest. In fact, they're so similar to us in this regard that sleep deprivation affects their learning, reproduction, and longevity. But then there's the Antarctic midge, Belgica antarctica. This tiny insect spends most of its life frozen in ice and only has about two weeks to be active and reproduce in summer. No time for naps when your entire adult life is shorter than your vacation request. Do they sleep? Probably not. But they do shut down metabolic pathways when freezing, more like going into suspended animation than sleep. Even some crustaceans have been observed to exhibit reduced responsiveness during dark cycles, hinting at rudimentary sleep patterns. A study of crayfish revealed specific postures and lower sensitivity to stimuli that suggest a sleep-like state, even in these ancient aquatic arthropods. Here's where things get interesting. Sleep is restorative, but it's also risky. You're not alert. You're vulnerable. In the wild, closing your eyes for eight hours is like putting a come-eat-me sign over your body. So some animals evolved ways to minimize or avoid traditional sleep. Migratory birds, for instance, can fly thousands of miles with only micro naps, mere seconds of half-brain sleep while on the wing. During migration, birds like the great frigate bird may sleep just 42 minutes per day for weeks, and when they land, no crash-out binge sleep. They just go on like normal. Scientists are baffled. Even some reptiles exhibit sleep behavior with no REM phase. It suggests that REM, the wild dream-filled cycle, isn't a universal requirement. In fact, some biologists think REM may only exist in animals that need complex memory consolidation. So your lizard isn't dreaming about chasing crickets. Some animals prioritize vigilance so much that they show strong environmental control over sleep. The white-crowned sparrow, during its migration season, will reduce sleep drastically. 
without any observable cognitive decline. If only humans could do the same during finals week. We've mentioned this before, but let's dive deeper. Unihemispheric slow-wave sleep is a big deal. Birds and aquatic mammals rely on it to keep one eye on predators or to breathe while asleep. But researchers have also seen it in seals, ducks, and possibly even humans in certain stressful or unfamiliar environments. Why is this important? Because it shows that sleep isn't just on or off. It's flexible, modular, adaptable. Evolution engineered it like a Swiss army knife for staying alive while resting. In fact, when ducks sleep in a group, the ones on the edge of the flock often keep one eye open and one hemisphere awake, while the ones in the middle fully rest. It's basically the animal version of taking first watch at camp. Some recent neurological studies suggest that even humans experience partial unihemispheric activity during their first night in a new place, a phenomenon known as the first night effect. So maybe we're not so different after all, just more dramatic about hotel pillows. Some animals don't avoid sleep entirely, but they can go without it for surprisingly long stretches. Elephants In the wild, African elephants sleep as little as two hours per day, sometimes going up to 48 hours without sleep during travel or stress. In captivity, they snooze more. Turns out, zoo life is comfier. Male pectoral sandpipers These birds compete for mates in the Arctic breeding season and have been recorded going without sleep for up to 11 days. The most active, sleep-deprived males actually father more offspring. Nature's message? Sleep is for the romantically unsuccessful. Some marine birds nesting on cliffs have also been found to forego sleep while caring for eggs in hazardous positions. A microsecond of inattention could mean losing their young or falling off the ledge. Who needs REM when you're living on the edge, literally? Do plants sleep? Okay. Trick question, but relevant. Plants don't sleep in the neurological sense, but many follow circadian rhythms. Leaves droop at night, photosynthesis shuts down, and internal clocks reset. It's not sleep, but it's rest. Even organisms without brains understand the value of downtime. Mimosa pudica, the sensitive plant, folds its leaves when touched and also closes them at night. Is it sleep? Number? Yeah. Is it eerily relatable? Absolutely. Could humans learn from these animals? Short answer, no. Yeah. Long answer, absolutely no. not. Humans need consolidated sleep. Deprivation leads to memory loss, impaired judgment, mood swings, hallucinations, and eventually death. We don't have unihemispheric sleep. We don't bounce back from micro naps. What we can do is learn how sleep evolved, why some species minimized it, what pressures shaped their unique adaptations, and maybe someday, science will help us optimize our own sleep cycles or develop tech that mimics these adaptations. Until then, don't envy the dolphin. Sure, it swims while sleeping, but it also lives in constant awareness of sharks, currents, and your loud vacation boat. Researchers are now exploring genetic mutations in humans that allow for reduced sleep needs, like the DEC2 gene, which enables some people to thrive on four to five hours of sleep. Could studying sleepless animals unlock biohacks for healthier short sleep humans? Maybe, but evolution took millions of years to fine tune the dolphin's unihemispheric sleep. Your attempt to replicate it by doom scrolling until 3 a.m. probably won't end the same way. Still, understanding these adaptations might inspire sleep tech in space travel, military ops, or long-term survival scenarios. Anywhere traditional sleep is a luxury, so maybe one day we'll all nap like whales. But until then, Naps still beat energy drinks. Imagine a world where humans could shut off half their brain and keep the other half awake. Your morning jog? No problem. While half your brain dreams about brunch, the other one navigates traffic. Students could study and snooze simultaneously. Security guards could literally sleep on the job and still get promoted. And what if we could go full pectoral sandpiper and skip sleep during finals, work weeks, or toddler years, just to catch up on sleep in the off-season? That's not insomnia, that's productivity rebranded. But let's be honest, if we could fly while while taking naps like frigate birds, we'd probably still end up crashing just into Netflix instead of the ocean. Some animals have rewired sleep for survival. They rest while moving, snooze with one eye open, or skip sleep entirely for days, even weeks. Evolution didn't give them a break from sleep out of kindness. It gave them tools to stay alive. For the rest of us, get your eight hours, or at least try. Because unless you're a shark, a dolphin, or a very desperate pectoral sandpiper, skipping sleep won't make you smarter, stronger, or more attractive. It'll just make you forget where you parked. And in this universe, the animals that do skip sleep, they're the rare exceptions, the mutants, the marvels, the ones who remind us that nature doesn't follow our rules. It makes its own, one sleepless night at a time.